Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So today, Bill, what we're talking about is power lines. About a year ago, I did a video on would I live near power lines, okay? Right. And I came up with, I want to do an update video because mm -hmm. I literally came up with about 20 reasons why I would not live near power lines. Okay. Okay? And each to, each to its own, you know? Right. Some people are saying, hey, it's no big deal, but we're going to go over some stuff and talk about power lines and we're actually doing it and what we're going to do bill is i brought two meters i brought mm -hmm. one meter and an analog meter okay okay and what we're going to do towards the end of this video is we're going to go for a walk and we're going to see how far that these lines go these magnetic field lines go okay okay and then at the end of this video i'm going to explain what is the most biggest reason why i would never live you know, next to electrical lines. So let's just show some people some okay. electrical lines. So basically, you see like electrical lines down there? And then they go this way. They're huge. Okay, and then you could obviously see houses right nearby. So that's what we're gonna talk about, why I would not live near electrical lines especially high wattage ones like this. I'm not talking about the everyday ones, you know, I'm talking, right, yeah. about, I'm talking about the main These power are lines. main, yeah. These are main runs. And um, do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It's really important and it's greatly appreciated. Bill, you know what we'll do? Let's get to a different spot so people could actually see something. Okay. Bill, let me ask you a question. When you go and show homes, do ever does anybody ever talk about, hey, how close are we to main power lines? Um, not in that context per se. I haven't experienced it. I do know people. I personally do know people that that's a big deal for them. Um, they won't wear, you know, wired headphones, wireless stuff. They do everything, you know, handheld, Bluetooth. Yeah. You know, so that kind of let's thing. explain a little bit mm -hmm. what you know. Basically, these power lines give off electrical magnetic fields, an overview. EMFs are invisible areas of energy associated with use of electrical power and varies from forms of natural and man-made, you know, lighting. Mm -hmm. EMFs are typically divided into two categories based on frequencies, extremely low frequencies, EMFs, these include power lines and electrical appliances, because your electrical appliances actually give off EMF. Right. Okay. That higher, makes sense. higher frequencies EMFs. This includes X rays, gamma rays, which ionize can directly damage your DNA in cells. So basically, X rays is kind of the same thing, according to mm -hmm. this article. Okay. So, you know, I want to explain to everybody. You know, there. I don't see any pros of living near power lines like this, other than if you want to buy a house a lot cheaper. Right. Okay, because okay. some people, you know, even over here that live right underneath the power lines, I personally don't think they're worth as much as the same house, not underneath power lines. Right, I see what your point is. So like, you know, my view out here would be of the power lines. That's not necessarily something that I particularly would and a, choose to the, live the, by. There's a lot of drawbacks mm -hmm. of that. So why don't you read the health concerns, basically? Right. So according to this article, then the research, there's health concerns. Uh, one of them being cancer risk. This is an ongoing research and debate, big debate, about whether exposure to ELF and EMF for, uh, from power lines and electrical devices increases cancer risk. Some studies have shown a possible link between long-term exposure to high levels of ELF and EMFs and certain types of cancer, such as childhood leukemia. However, these studies are not conclusive. Right, we're not doctors, we're just yeah. going by the study. So, health concerns. So, so my concern would be, hey, you know what? Why even take the risk? All right, I could save $50,000 or $100,000 on this house right. over here, but is my health worth it? I'd rather spend the extra 50000 mm -hmm. 100000 and not be near power lines just for the health reason. Tell us what you guys think. Go ahead, Bill. 
All right, non-cancer health issues. Other health issues potentially linked to EMF exposure includes headache, fatigue, stress, and sleep disturbances through scientific evidence, though scientific evidence is not uh, definitive. So let me talk about that one too. So my aunt and uncle, you know, when I was a kid, they lived underneath these big power lines, mm -hmm. okay, the main power lines. And I purposely remember, I never used to get headaches, but I used to get headaches when I was at their house because I would stay there for a while. Yeah. And I would get headaches. Mm -hmm. And now after reading these articles, I said, I wonder if the headaches were coming from exposure to EMF. Interesting. I don't know. But now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I think it's, it's possible. Go ahead. All right, regulations and safety standards. National and international bodies such as the World Health Organization have set safety standards for EMF exposure to minimize potential health risks. These guidelines are based on extensive scientific research and are regularly updated. All right. Scientific consensus. The National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences and other health organizations have conducted extensive reviews of the existing research and concluded that there is no consistent evidence that EMFs at levels typically encountered in residential and occupational settings are harmful to human health. Here, here's my hmm. concern with that, okay? What, what else can they say? We need these power lines to power up everybody's houses. <laughs> right. So what are they gonna say? Yes, they, they are a concern? Right. That's the problem. Yeah, we need so, power. So we need power. So they're, of course they're going to say, well, you know, it's it's really not a concern. We have no proof. Mm -hmm. Well, for the when they, smoking first came out, when cigarettes came out, they said, oh, it's fine. It's good for you. It, it won't have any health effects. Obviously, it was proven wrong. So what we're going to start doing now is go down the, the list okay. that I came up with. Okay. The first one was health concern. That's, you know, the first one. Right. And... We already talked about it, so we don't have to talk about it again. I think there is a health concern. I'm not a doctor, but you're the realtor. Tell me, property value. So according to this, it says homes near power lines may have lower property values due to perceived health risks and aesthetic issues. This can affect resale value and marketability. And uh, especially from the aesthetics standpoint, that it could affect your, you know, marketability of the house and that, you know, you're right here, like I said, this is, you know, your, what you're looking at out of your backyard. Maybe some people like it, maybe some people don't, I don't know, to each their own. And we're getting rained on right now, yeah. so subscribe. And it's <laughs> super sunny and we're still getting rained on. So, welcome to Florida. All right. Noise issues. Yep. Believe it or not, these things are giving off some noise. They do. They do give off noise. They give up humming noise. You guys probably can't hear it because we have these microphones and they cancel stuff out. But, the, you know, if you're in the backyard of one of some of these houses here, you're probably going to hear a buzzing sound. Yeah, you may. Um, from time to time, I did hear it earlier today, you know, as we were walking out this way, I did hear some of the buzzing. Um, so, but that kind of goes back to, you know, aesthetics, noise issues, and, you know, we're talking to property values is the, you know, when the appraiser comes, they do look at the exterior of the home for, um, wow, we're really getting rained on now. Yeah, and there's you, not a cloud in the sky. All right, so what we should do maybe is just, just take, we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> all right, look, it's pouring out. We're sitting underneath a tree to try to finish this video. No lightning though. No lightning, and we're, and we're soaked. <laughs> we're literally soaked, so we'll be right back. All right, we're officially soaked, <laughs> but, we're gonna, but we're gonna get this video done. So basically, we're talking about the last thing was noise issues, okay? The buzzing sound. Right, right, right. Okay, read the next one after that. So after noise, we go into psychological impact. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard this one yet. Okay. All right. So the presence of large power lines can cause stress and anxiety for some individuals, particularly those concerned about potential health. Okay. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. So it causes stress. Yeah. So if, if health is a big issue for you and you have a lot of concerns and power lines and, 
you know, EMF and all that stuff is, is a concern, then yeah, I can see how it can make stress. That makes sense. Okay, how about this one? Okay, maintenance issues. So, you know, right now your house is, say your house is just over here and your power lines are just over here. People are gonna come here and do maintenance on these things all the time. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have machinery back here more often than you, you like, you know? And increase of electrical shock risk. There's a potential of electrical shock if power lines are damaged or improperly ground or fall. These are high, high voltage lines. So the good thing is, <laughs> Tell me what the good thing is. <laughs> at least with this, and in all my years at the fire department in this area, um, we go to power lines down all the time. Like these are big, big power these lines. These are really large lines and knock on wood, to my knowledge, we have not responded see, to these. If you guys could see this, I don't know if you guys could see it, but this thing is lighting up like a Christmas tree. So yes, they are alive so electrical shock fire risk kind of goes back to the same thing all right interference with electronics you know high power line chain cause interference with electronic devices and communications that is true that makes sense and that's something you know a lot about i do know a lot about that and it is true a lot of times you know you, you lose your cell signal sometimes mm -hmm. You know, and it, it messes up with the Wi-Fi. It does a lot of crazy, yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah, we've gotten notices on things, you know, high magnetic interference, and they can't connect with, like, the satellites and stuff. So how about this one, Bill? Zoning and development restrictions. Areas near power lines may have stricter zoning and development regulations limiting property modifications. So because can see that. you can't interfere with, you know, they might have a right-of-way to go past your property to get to the power lines. Right, because they may not be big power lines like this. They mm -hmm. could have an easement and a setback. So you may have like two sets of houses together, and then there's a, a, a power right of way that you have like an alley behind your house, and then that's for the power company. Yeah. So insurance issues. Home insurance rates may be higher, or coverage may be more difficult to obtain properties near power line. That <laughs> I don't know about. I read about it, huh. but... Some people are saying that they were having a hard time getting insurance because of the power lines in the air, their house. Okay, read the community one. Community perception, negative community perception and stigma can affect social interactions and community integration. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> environmental pollution. Power lines may contribute to environmental pollution affecting air and soil quality. I don't know a lot about that. I don't know about that. But it was in an article. So you guys, you know, let me tell me what you guys think about that one. Limitations on landscape, and there may be restrictions on tree planting and other landscaping activities near power lines. That could be true. That makes sense because you don't want tree, tree branches are a big issue when uh, that bring down a lot of power lines, particularly in storms. Right. Reduce privacy. Power line maintenance crews frequently access property lines to reducing privacy. Yeah, because yeah. they have to go to these power lines and they have to do maintenance. Yeah. I actually once seen a helicopter hovering, hovering. up there, okay, on the, on the top of the power line. They were doing maintenance with a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and say it's in your backyard and say they do it more often. You know, that might be a little bit of a headache. Okay. Legal regulations challenges navigating the legal regulatory framework related to near power lines can be complex and time consuming i have no idea what that means <laughs> but there was a whole article on it yeah maybe that's more towards the uh commercial side of things you know as far as building like high rises if you've got if you're zoned differently you know in one of these easements or something like that but so bill at the end of the day okay and we're going to do this this testing right now too i wouldn't buy a home near a power line like, I would want this to be zero, and this, this is a really, really cool one, okay? So, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it is, like, through the roof. You probably can't see it on the thing. So, I wonder if they could see it. Maybe, maybe not. But it's, it's reading 3.68 UT and 1004 VM. Okay, basically, do I know exactly what that means? No, but even if you walk towards these houses, 
you're still going to be reading those high levels. So as long as, like at my house, if I'm outside the front of my house, this is zero. Mm -hmm. This is zero. You know what I mean? Right. So my biggest concern would be health issues. Okay. That's my biggest concern. Yeah. I'd rather pay more money for a house. Oh. Even, even though it's, they say it's not proven. But why take the chance? Just because it's not proven yet. Or maybe it never will be. Who knows? But it's this is going to be one of those each to own, you know, kind of situations. So, okay. So, basically, look. Even if I walk away from this. Uh-huh. I'm probably not even in the screen anymore. Point the camera towards me. It's at you. It's just going up. So even if I make it all the way to the house, they're both, they're both, they're, they're maxing out. So I'm telling you, even if I, even if I went probably inside the house, you're getting bombarded by these all the time. Is it changing your DNA? Who knows? I have no idea. But why do you want to find out? <laughs> They're lighting up like a Christmas tree. Right. Now, after everything that you learned, mm -hmm. that what we just spoke about, you know, some of the risk factors, some of the concerns that people have, would you buy a house near electrical lines? Because my recommendation is buy one of these meters. You get them on Amazon. Okay. Or you could buy this one. It's cheaper. They're not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Buy one of these. If you're buying a house, go outside. It should read zero. Because I tested it on my house. I tested it in like five other areas. And they were zero all the time. As soon as they started coming near this neighborhood, mm -hmm. they started lighting up more and more. I went on the block on the other side of those houses down there. And in the street, it was still getting hit. Yeah. So it was going past the houses to the street. Interesting. So I don't know exactly if it's going to be a health issue, but I wouldn't want to find out. Right. I mean, there's enough that is unhealthy for us. I don't know that I personally would do it, but I mean, I know obviously there's plenty of people that do because there's plenty of houses with people living in them. But my question to you is, are these houses cheaper? I need you to find that out. I don't know. I'd have to look and see. So believe it or not, the reason why I have these mm -hmm. devices and why this whole subject came up is when I do home inspections and I see big power lines, I bring these things out and I, sh and I show the potential buyers. Mm -hmm. Hey, not for nothing. I don't know much about this stuff, but this thing is going off the, off the charts, you know? And I, f I feel bad because probably four out of five back out of the deal. <laughs> So you probably don't want me to inspect a house that has power lines. They're underneath power lines. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Would you buy a house next to power lines? Would you guys buy a house next to power lines? Yeah, like I said, no, that's not going to be my choice personally because it's just not something that I choose to subject myself to. Not only just the aesthetics and all the other things that we talked about, but the potential for health issues. And I like my signals, you know, I like my Wi-Fi and stuff. So, you know, it's just, it's not something I need to be interrupted with all the time. And I just, like I said, I got enough. I think we have enough uh, health issues bombarding us here. We don't need to add a potential. Very well said. One. Hey, give us some feedback. What do you guys think? Would you guys live underneath power lines or next to power lines? We're just curious. Maybe I'm just the weird one that says, no, I wouldn't do it. Maybe everybody else is like, yeah, I don't care about that stuff. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. teach their own. It's like radon gas. You can't see radon gas, but it's not good for you. But you can't <laughs> right. see it. Right. You know, it's just it's kind, of this, it's kind of the same thing. A lot of mold. Sometimes you can't see it. Right. But yeah, it's there's in mold the in the air. It's, it's out here right now. Right. So this this might be just another one but this one scares me for some reason i don't know why it does but it does anyway since we got soaking wet <laughs> and now we have to go change before we go to tarpon springs and eat dinner and shoot another video for you guys do me a favor like this video subscribe and share and we'll talk to you in the next one <laughs> see you on the next video thank Thanks. you